It is the principle that everyone is equal under the law and that principle should extend to the outcome of our electoral system. Sharon Somerville from Fairvote Waterloo explained the basics of proportional representation voting to a crowd of intrigued residents at Kitchener City Hall. In PR, uh, it builds parliaments that, broadly speaking, reflect the voting intentions of all of the country. Currently, Canada uses what's called a first-past-the-post system. The country is divided into ridings, and only one member of parliament with the highest votes is elected to represent each riding, a method Somerville says doesn't accurately reflect voters' choices. As long as we just have single-member systems, we won't have the proportional result that we look for to get the fairness that we desire. She says proportional representation voting systems, on the other hand, elect several MPs to represent a given geographic area. If a party got 10% of the popular vote, they would get 10% of the seats in Parliament. So what that means is that Parliament would actually reflect the way Canadians voted. Many voters at today's session admit they didn't know much about it before, but are eager to learn. I think it's important to be informed because you know people are making big decisions and we should have say in what's happening. This was the first year that I've had the opportunity to vote so I, I thought it was important to come here and, and learn a little bit more about the democratic process and, and participate in the dialogue. The Liberal Party hoping to hear directly from voters like these by having members of a special electoral reform committee out speaking with Canadians to gain their perspective.